Change takes time. The manner in which the change occurs may differ from one system to another and the time taken for the change may also vary, but all of these changes or transitions from one state to another do take time. Hello, my name is Ogden Marjanovic and I'm a senior lecturer in the School of Electrical and Electronic Engineering at the University of Manchester. The way in which processes move from one state to another is called transient behavior. Transient behavior is an inevitable characteristic of all real-world systems. So engineering systems such as planes, trains, cars, chemical or nuclear reactors all exhibit some form of transient behavior. In some systems, this change appears to occur almost instantly. Think of the speed at which lightning strikes or a balloon pops. In other systems, transitions may take substantial amount of time. For example, when we try to heat up a large room such as this, it will take a long time before it reaches desired temperature. If we want to move a ball from one point to another, we cannot do it instantaneously. It will take time. Time that may be substantial, especially if the ball is heavy and we move it over large distances. In engineering disciplines, we mostly deal with three different types of systems, and these generally differ in terms of the speed at which the transients occur. The fastest group of systems are electrical. Most of the engineers dealing with these systems assume that the transition from one state of voltage or current to another occurs pretty much instantly. So we assume here that the transient time is negligible. The second group of systems are mechanical. These are, by and large, described by the Newton's laws of motion and may in some cases have quite long transients especially if they have substantial amount of inertia. Inertia here is the key word, and it is actually this inertia that is prohibiting mechanical systems from moving in an instant from one position to another or from one velocity to another. The bigger the inertia, the more prolonged is the transition of a mechanical system. Finally, there are thermal systems, which are often the slowest systems. What this means is that the temperature of an object may change rather slowly, especially if it is a big object. Heating up an atmosphere after a long, dark, cold night, this will certainly take more than a couple of seconds or minutes and will probably last several hours, regardless of how strong the sunlight is. So here again, we have a concept of inertia, this time thermal inertia, which is highly dependent on the size of the system or object, its shape, and the material that it is made from. Like mechanical and thermal systems, electrical systems also have inertia, this time related to inductance and capacitance in a given circuit. So in this particular circuit we see here, we have a number of capacitors, and these are going to prohibit instantaneous change of voltage, and we will see that by the fact that as soon as I press the switch, we will not see the light on the LED come on. It will take some time. And now when I release the switch, again, it will take some time before the light completely diminishes from this LED. In fact, the fundamental reason for the inevitability of the transient behavior in physical systems comes from the following equation. What this equation simply states is that the power is equal to the rate of change of energy, which we probably already know anyway. But there is another fundamental property here which is telling us something about the transient behavior of the systems. And in order to see this, we need to think about what does it mean when we say instantaneous change of energy. So if we had an energy graph, so energy was constant for a long time, and then it changed instantaneously, in zero time, to a new level, okay? What is the rate of change of energy in this particular case? So here, whilst energy is constant, its rate of change is equal to zero, because energy is not changing. But then, energy jumps instantaneously to a new state. And during this infinitesimal time period, the power, the rate of change of energy, actually becomes infinite. Now, infinite power is not possible in our real world. And that is the reason why, in the real world, energy cannot change instantaneously. That is why change takes time. And that is why we have transient behavior.
So the transient behavior of all these different systems is described using a very specific type of equations, which you call differential equations. Differential equations differ from algebraic equations by having differentiation terms, such as the one we see here, dE by dt. So all these different systems, thermal, electrical, mechanical, have the transient behavior actually described using differential equations, which stem from this fundamental relation. So regardless of whether we are studying thermal, mechanical, electrical transients, the behavior is characterized using the same type of equations, which is, in my opinion, probably the most fascinating and most philosophical aspect of engineering sciences in general.